With a menstruating population of over 332 million women, more than 1 billion sanitary pads are used in India every month. Due to the taboo associated with menstruation and poor waste management in this part of the world, most of these are disposed of unscientifically, either ending up in landfills or clogging drainage systems. The only way of stopping this is forcing sanitation workers to segregate it themselves, sometimes with their bare hands. Santosh Virangi Tak is a door-to-door -door garbage collector in Chandigarh city. We have been working for 25 years, sir, to collect the garbage. And we have been working for 63 sectors. We have been working for 5-6 years. We have been working for the house and bell market. Everyone has a mix of garbage. And the pads are open. It doesn't matter what they are doing. They are not open. And the diapers are open. We have to give them different things. We have to give them diapers. Then we have to give them different things. We have to give them different things. यानी कि रैप नहीं आता, खुला ही आता है, खून वगैरह ऐसा गंदगी होती है पूरी, तो उसको हम अलग-अलग करके हाथों से इधर गीला, इधर सूखा, इधर दूसरा सेक्रेट कचरा, इधर बीस पर और इधर डाइपर करते हैं हम हाथों के साथ ना हमारे पास गल्प्स हैं, ना मार्क्स हैं और ना सेंटेजर है The practice of sorting unsegregated waste on a daily basis exposes workers like Santosh to all kinds of skin infections. In some cases, diseases like hepatitis and tetanus. कचरा उठाने से खुजली भी हो जाती है और बीमार भी हो जाते हैं पूरे शरीर में खुजलियाँ हो जाती है ये पैर में भी हो रखी है खुजली ये देखो हाथों में इन्फेक्शन भी हो जाता है देखो ये हो रखा है आपके सामने Poor sanitary waste management systems plague most cities in India. But a small city with a population of over a million, Chandigarh, is now trying to build itself as a role model for its waste management practices. In August 2022, the Chandigarh Municipal Corporation took up the task of putting an end to the manual segregation of sanitary waste, calling for source segregation at its point of generation, the household. Anandita Mitra, appointed Commissioner of Chandigarh's Municipal Corporation a year ago, realized that the problem largely lay in how sanitary waste was being disposed of by residents. The basic concept that it is a taboo, so uh, lots of citizens might not want to give the waste in a segregated fashion, they might just want to uh, put it together with the wet waste, which we do not uh, wish because the wet waste goes into composting. Ideally, it should not go into the wet, wet waste. That is where the idea came from. We worked for about a year. Uh, consistently on trying to improve the segregation of waste and its quality. In order to improve the quality of its segregated waste, the Municipal Corporation introduced a door-to-door -door collection system for sanitary waste, adding a dedicated red bin to its garbage collection vehicles. Simultaneous awareness campaigns ensured residents followed the new protocol. Local resident Priya Bansal has been segregating her wet, dry and sanitary waste in three different bins for the last two months. When we came to the kitchen, we have to keep the garbage in the kitchen. What happens is that when we make tea, we don't have to waste the waste of tea. And we don't have to waste vegetables, fruits, and vegetables. We don't have to waste the waste of tea. We don't have to waste biodegradable. But we don't have to waste the sanitary pads and the children's diapers. We don't have to waste the waste of plastic. We don't have to waste the waste of tea. We have to waste the waste of tea. And we have to waste the waste of tea. 
Chandigarh has a network of over 900 garbage collectors. Vinod Kumar is one of them. Being part of the transition firsthand, those like Vinod are emerging as crucial stakeholders in the system. Sir, starting with the first day, I was very happy to do it. I felt like it was difficult to do it. How do you do it? How do you do it? We went to the house and gave them a form. उस पर लिखा हुआ था कि अभी गिल्ला इसमें डालना सुक्का इसमें डालना और जो सैनिटरी पैड्स हैं उनमें थोड़ी दिक्कत आई है शर्म कर मतलब उन गुस्सा करते थे वो भी आप ऐसे कैसे बोल रहे हो मैं आके तो हमने समझाया दिया ऐसे ऐसे करके वेस्ट आगे जाते हैं ये हमारे शहर के लिए हमारे वातावरण के लिए अच्छा है इसलिए उन्होंने ठीक है अब तो हौली हौली मतलब उन्होंने कहा ठीक है अभी दो चार दिन लगे हैं फिर अब ठीक है बिल्कुल सही दे रहे सब वंस कलेक्टेड सेपरेटली the sanitary waste is tagged and sent to a biomedical waste treatment facility for incineration. The Chandigarh Municipal Corporation collaborates with private company Alliance Envirocare for this purpose. However, the question of incinerating waste is something that continues to trouble experts. Typically, if you're talking about you know, disposal of pads which have plastic, um, you know, CPCB or the government right now says that it needs to be incinerated because there is no other solution. These new technologies which are coming up segregates the or separates different layers of sanitary pads and then, you know, kind of recovers the plastic, recovers the other material, cellulose and other material. Um, these in long term, if these are effective and their emissions are checked, these would be much, uh, I would say, better technology. In cases when this non-biodegradable, unsegregated, sanitary pad does end up in a landfill, it pollutes the land in exactly the same way as a plastic bag does. In the absence of a more sustainable solution than incineration, Chandigarh city may argue that it has at least taken the first step in the right direction through source segregation. Sanitary pads are usually 90% made of plastic, the normal ones which are available in the market. And when um, you know it's thrown uh, by the user, um, it usually is mixed with um, you know other household waste, or even if it's not mixed with the household waste, it's handed over to your waste collector uh, along with your other waste uh, streams, which means uh, it is not segregated. It's 90% plastic, which means it will not degrade and it will continue to stay in the landfill. If we break down into smaller and smaller particles, uh, typically now known as microplastics, it is going to stay in the environment for, uh, I would say, seven to 800 years. And that's a long time, um, especially considering that it is, um, plastic has chemicals in it. Armed by a dedicated team of sanitary workers and conscientious citizens, the city is reportedly close to realizing 100% sanitary waste collection. The first day we had collections of just 22 kilograms. Today we are at more than 500 kilograms. The figures themselves depict how the society and the city has reacted to the initiative. So I think we are quite close to achieving 100%. 26-year-old sanitary worker Preeti Kumari is here today to attend a workshop. महिलाओं के जो मानसिक धर्म अपशिष्ट होते हैं, सैनिटरी पैड होते हैं, इस्तेमाल किए हुए सिरिंज जो होते हैं, हमारे मलहम पट्टी किए हुई चीजें होती हैं, हमारे समाज में बीमारियां फैला सकता है। इसलिए इस पूरे का अलग से प्रबंधन जरूरी है। The municipal body has been regularly organizing these for capacity building and to drive home the point on bettering waste management practices. This is the idea that we collect the garbage, we have to take 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 the garbage. Chandigarh is one of the few Indian cities that segregate sanitary waste. Overall, India generates around 
113,000 tons of menstrual waste annually. More than 50% of which finds its way to urban sewerage systems, landfills, rural fields and water bodies. With increasing access to pads, menstrual waste is only likely to increase in India, making the call for better waste management practices more urgent. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.